So I recently had to send my NVIDIA 3080 Founders Edition down to NVIDIA in California. And in the meantime, I've been using my AMD GPU. Now, typically when people switch graphics cards, I highly suggest that they do a clean driver uninstall. And unfortunately using the uninstall tools that come built into Windows, either using the Windows Device Manager or using NVIDIA or AMD's uninstall tools don't really do the greatest job out there. So there's a program called DDU, which is very, very common. And I end up using this every time I change a GPU. Now, again, this is not required, but it is suggested, especially when you're changing manufacturers so that drivers don't conflict with one another. I've had issues in the past where drivers are causing a bunch of issues and doing the driver uninstall is probably one of the best ways to solve that. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is download DDU. You can get it from Guru3D. Um, go ahead and download the latest version um, from their webpage. Now, the reason you're gonna to wanna to do this before you go ahead and restart is we're actually going to entirely disconnect from the internet so that Windows does not automatically try to update with a GPU driver once we uninstall it. You'll also want to go ahead and get the drivers before we disconnect the internet. So whether you go with NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel, go ahead and go to their company website. I will leave links down in the description below to all of the official pages. Download the driver for your particular GPU and ensure that you have it alongside DDU so that when we go ahead and go through this whole process, we're not going to have internet, so you won't be able to get it then. Um, and you can go ahead and use this driver to install everything. This next step is also optional, but we're gonna go ahead and restart into safe mode. Um, this is used to avoid a few issues. It is suggested by DDU. Uh, you don't have to do it, but I do it this way. It's super simple. If you don't do it this way, you do have to kind of redo the cleaning process a couple times. Um, so I just like doing this once. So once you go ahead and have that downloaded, you can disconnect your Wi-Fi or your ethernet to disconnect Wi-Fi, you can either turn on airplane mode or just turn off the Wi-Fi. And to disconnect Ethernet, just go ahead and unplug that from the back of your computer. Now, it's super simple to get into safe mode. If you hold shift and you go and click restart, this should put you back into the troubleshooting screen in Windows. So once you get here, you're going to go ahead and hit troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings. And as you can see here, one of the options here is enable safe mode. So we're gonna go ahead and do restart. Once you get to the startup settings, you just go ahead and press four, boot into safe mode, pretty simple. Now, when you boot into safe mode, you'll realize that we do not have our drivers appearing in the right click menu anymore. This is great news. So we're gonna go ahead and navigate to where we downloaded our DDU. We're gonna unzip this. So let's unzip it right here. I've already done it, so I'll do it again. Once it's unzipped, go ahead and open that up and just go ahead and run DDU. We're gonna extract. So once you get it started up, it's gonna give you a little bit of this information here. Um, we're just gonna press okay. What I suggest you do when you're moving from Nvidia to AMD or AMD to Nvidia, go ahead and remove everything from both um, so you don't have to remove physics or anything, but removing all the default stuff that it has in here is a great idea. Um, just getting everything cleared for both is a great idea. Um, the default settings I think are the best way to go here. Um, you don't have to do anything extra. So we're just going to go ahead and press close. We're going to go to select device type GPU and we're getting rid of the AMD ones. And we're going to do the clean and shutdown for the new graphics card so we can go ahead and put my 3080 back in the computer. Once it's done, it's going to go ahead and shut down your computer if you chose that option. Then we can go ahead and uninstall the AMD GPU, put back in my 3080, reboot, and get the NVIDIA drivers installed. I did recently just put out a short on an easy way to release your PCIe lever on your motherboard if you do have an air cooler, go ahead and check that out. But I'm gonna do that right now and I'll be back in a second. Now, once you get the GPU installed and the computer restarted, go ahead and head to your downloads where we downloaded the driver and run the driver. Because we're disconnected from the internet, you're gonna get the smart screen can't be reached right now. That's totally fine. 
as long as you downloaded your driver from NVIDIA or AMD's official website or Intel's, um, you should be entirely fine. As I mentioned, I switched from my 3080 to my 5700 XT and now back to my 3080. So we're installing the NVIDIA drivers. I am going to put GeForce Experience just because it makes getting drivers easier. I, I am kind of upset about it making you log in and all that kind of stuff. I like that part about an AMD's adrenaline, uh, but we'll just agree and continue. Uh, we're going to do it express because we don't have to do a clean installation. Um, and I am going to grab everything, so it's not a big deal. And when it's going through driver install, your screen may flash a couple times, go blank. Uh, don't freak out. That's a normal part of any kind of driver update for your display and your graphics. Now, don't forget, once you have that all done, go ahead and go into your display settings. Uh, check to make sure that your resolution is correct and go to your advanced display and make sure that your refresh rate is correct as well. You may get a weird value that's just below your typical refresh rate, so 143.91. This is mainly because I'm going through a capture card device and then going to my display, but just make sure you have that all checked out and you should be good to go. You should be able to go ahead and I would suggest restarting your computer, reconnecting your internet, and you're good to go. So that's it. I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below and I will try to get to them all as quickly as I can. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, Thoughts, Lime, and Step Back, and thank you for watching the end of this video. If you do wanna see any of my other videos relating to computer and computer help, you can go ahead and check out this playlist right up here. As always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Saturday.